And <laughs> finally, new rule, for the sake of democracy, we have to move Halloween. Move it far, far away from Election Day. <laughs> Why? Because it's a reminder of everything conservatives hate. Fun. <laughs> imagination. Paganism. Walking. <laughs> Gay pride. <laughs> Women dressing provocatively. Kids demanding free handouts. That's socialism! <laughs> Look. <laughs> Republican voters are scared enough as it is. When they hear the doorbell, they think it's one of three things. MS-13, <laughs> Antifa, or a false accusation of rape. <laughs> the last thing they need to look out there and see is Black Panther. <laughs> <laughs> Think about the things that angry up the Fox News base. What's the single overarching message of that network? Weirdos are coming for your shit. <laughs> well, that's what happens on October 31st. People dressed as pimps and hookers walking up your driveway, people in chains who aren't Hillary. Which cackled doorbells that sound like Hillary? <laughs> <laughs> men dressed as women, women dressed as men, adults dressed as Harry Potter, and everything is slutty. Slutty nurse, slutty pirate, slutty pizza rat, slutty Bishop Desmond Tutu. Slutty Saudi assassin, it never ends. <laughs> the only thing conservatives like about Halloween is the appearance of Nosferatu. <laughs> but... But I'm telling you, Halloween, they hate the socialism, they hate the paganism. The, the Bible specifically condemns witches, vampires, wizards, ghosts. You know, all the fun people at the party. <laughs> and then it also became Gay Christmas. How gay... <laughs> How gay is Halloween? It makes West Hollywood gayer. <laughs> It's like making Utah whiter. <laughs> and then there's the trap we walk into every year. Now, I personally don't care if you go trick-or-treating dressed as 0.01% of Elizabeth Warren. <laughs> but the Office of Scolding Justice Warriors has decreed no hula girls, no Indian chiefs, no Southern Bells, no Daniel Boone, no geishas, ninjas, gypsies, mobsters, terrorists, no Cleopatra. Pirates offend one-eyed people. And <laughs> you can't dress as a hobo because it makes light of the homeless. You can't dress as Quasimodo because it offends hunchbacks. You can't, <laughs> can't dress as an escaped mental patient. It offends Kanye. <laughs> <laughs> The sexy handmaid's tail costume. <laughs> the handmaid's tail costume has already been pulled from the shelves and an apology issued, oh. lest someone be offended by the ironic take on a character that doesn't exist from a fictional world that never happened. <laughs> you know, not everything that merely alludes to another culture is racist or cultural appropriation, really. Imagine there's no countries. It isn't hard to do. <laughs> Halloween was always fun because it wasn't PC. Not being PC is almost the whole point of the holiday. But now everything has to turn into a federal case of snowflakes versus humor. 
and then some cultural studies professor will go on TV to try to explain his outrage, and Tucko Carlson will look at him like this. <laughs> The majority of America is with the Democrats on the issues. They just find the woke people irritating as hell. In a new poll, 80% of Americans find political correctness to be a problem, including 75% of African Americans, 74% of Americans under 30, 82% of Asians, 87% of Hispanics, 88% of Native Americans. If you're not a statistician, let me break those numbers down for you. Nobody likes you. <laughs> including the so-called marginalized groups whose feelings you've decided need protecting. Because trust me, somewhere right now, there are three clueless white girls in Texas who are planning to go as a mariachi band. <laughs> <laughs> and when they do, liberal Twitter will lose their shit, and the rest of America will go, oh, for fuck's sake, when did liberals become the fun police? Does anybody remember when conservatives were the ones with the sticks up their asses? We went from yes, we can to oh, no, you didn't. 